Hey y'all, it is your girl Kiana and I am back with another video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe and the bell next to it so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Today's video is going to be a reaction video to the Crimson Cure, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey there my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure. And this is my perspective. So I got a video about three minutes long that I want to share with you guys. And then I'm going to come back with my perspective. So I wanted to share this with you all, and I'm probably going to catch some heat for it, but I decided to go ahead and be open about it. So there's a couple that I helped a couple of months back in regards to the relationship, right? And it, I knew that it wasn't going to work. I knew it wasn't going to work, but I couldn't tell them that it wasn't going to work. I just had to do whatever I could, give them as many exercises to practice, to utilize in the relationship, to implement, to see if it could work. But I knew deep down in my heart that it probably wasn't going to work, right? And I'm only saying this because I know a lot of times women feel like they can do no wrong. Uh, and the crazy thing about it is the man is in an outstanding relationship now. And the woman... It's not. She's suffering. She's going through it. So she reached out to me. And this is a story I want to tell you guys. So she goes, Kitty, I did everything that you told me to do, blah, 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 blah. And mind you, I've talked to this man already. He's reached out to me and everything that I taught them, everything I told them, utilize implant. He's doing it now in the relationship that he is in. That was just the wrong woman. And I'm sorry, baby, if you see this video, I know I've already told you, you were just not the woman. So she asked me, Kitty, what did I do wrong? And I said, do you want me to be wrong with you? And she said, yes. Okay. So I told her, okay, you had this princess syndrome where you felt like it always had to be me, me, me. And everything that I said went. And that if I was not right, he was not going to be happy. You belittled him. You emasculated him. I said, you didn't watch your tone. You reacted before you responded. You didn't take time to comprehend what it was that he was saying. And he heard you nagging instead of actually listening. You waited to play that number plus one game. Okay, this is a number of things that you have done to me that he's telling you. And then you say, well, this is a number things that you have done to me plus one you had a warped mindset to where you believe that hey it's going good right now and i need a little bit of attention so bad attention is better than no attention instead of understanding that now you are transitioning into a healthier space so there's going to be peace it's going to be serene but you didn't know how to adapt to peace and serenity because of your chaos from your childhood and your past traumas you brought those into this relationship and you blamed him for the mistakes of your partner I asked her, do you want me to continue? Because the list can go on. And everything that I told you to do, as you're saying you did it, you did not. You went back to what it is that you knew. And she said, well, Kitty, can I get him back? You can't get him back. You lost him and you should not be worrying about getting a partner back until you fix yourself. And the only way to fix yourself, as I always say, ladies, is to be accountable for your shit. And I understand it sucks when they move on, but I'm glad that he moved on because he was ready. It was the right time for him and you were the wrong person. Mm. Okay, y'all. <laughs> that was a lot said in three minutes, but y'all, I want to bring up the fact that she talked about the girl having a princess syndrome. A lot of women have a princess syndrome. The princess syndrome and feeling entitled goes hand in hand with each other. And I always talk about women feeling entitled. Um, why do you feel that as a woman, you can just do all these things and a man is not supposed to be mad at you when you sit here and belittle him? He's not supposed to be mad at you when you pick a fight. Uh, and then it's fine afterwards. Like you really sat here and picked a fight with this man and acted like everything is okay after you said what you had to say but now he's mad and you triggered him and you're just like oh what did i do i'm sorry don't play victim you cannot play victim the fact that she was talking about the woman wanting him back well kitty can i get him back no you cannot get him back a lot of women always have that 
mindset. I did this person wrong. They'll always be there just because I am who I am. He should allow me to be who I am and he should love me for who I am. The person he may have fell in love with, yeah, that's, that's probably not the same person he was in a relationship with six months ago and now you're just being this woman that is like a stranger in his home if y'all live together. A lot of women have this mindset of they can just have whatever they want and not have to suffer the consequences. A lot of women think that they can just push somebody on the back burner and that person is still supposed to be there. That saying that, you know, when you don't know what you have until it's gone. Um, people don't appreciate what they have until it's gone because that is so true. A lot of women know they have something good, but they don't really appreciate it and value it until it's gone. Now this man has moved on with his life, doing all those things that he would have done for you had it gotten right, had you gotten yourself together. But women don't want to hear that. They want to play victim and they want to make it seem like they are not the wrong ones in this situation. They say it takes two in a relationship. It takes two to tangle. Yes, it does. Sometimes it is a woman because women have this mindset that they do not do any wrong. The princess can do anything she wants and talk to anybody how she wants to and not have to suffer the consequences. A real woman has to suffer the consequences. And now this man treats his new woman as if she is the queen because she's given him what he was asking for out of the relationship with you. Okay. <clears throat> so you heard that young lady talking about a couple that she uh, was giving advice to about their relationship and how the woman in that relationship wasn't taking any accountability for her part of that relationship. And this is why a lot of black women are really going to die alone. See, it's not just something snippy to say to get under black women's skin. This is really an issue. And black women, you can say it's not an issue, but as a woman, I understand very clearly that the prospect of getting older where you can't do certain things anymore or other things just become very unappealing for you to have to do for yourself and not having no cover and not having no protection nowhere at any point in time, especially when you get older and it becomes less reasonable for you to protect yourself and be moving in this world without no cover. That That's all cap talking about you don't care about dying alone and you'll be alone. That is cap. Women care a great deal about coverage because when we feel like we are completely a, a sheep among wolves, that is not a good feeling ever. That is never a good feeling. And you can try to play like you don't mind that feeling, but it is never a, a, a good thing to look around and be like, oh, wait a minute. I'm surrounded by hungry wolves and I'm a fat little sheep. That's, that's right for the taking. That is pride. It's pride in women. How can women be so prideful? How can a woman be so proud to be so independent, to be so much without a man? Black women especially, they pride themselves on being independent, they pride themselves on being alone, not having to depend on somebody. And I'm not just even like talking about the financial standpoint, you know, women always think I can be independent from, you know, a financial standpoint. They are independent in everything. They're single-minded people women who are prideful are so arrogant how can women feel so superior over others especially a black man that she even think that she doesn't need him she just said a sheep surrounded by wolves 
a woman cannot protect herself no matter how much she wants to think she can. A woman cannot protect herself if she tried. She could be a she woman, a, a, a he man, what they call it. She can be a she man, all she wants, have so much strength, she's still not stronger than a man. Comment your thoughts about that below. I want to hear your thoughts because I disagree with the whole women being independent thing. I'm more on the traditional side of valuing a relationship of a woman needing a man and a man needing a woman for stability. Women should be more humble. Women should be able to take accountability for their actions, be able to understand where they went wrong and fix that. You know what I mean? Like you really get that isolated feeling. But aside from that, here are some things, black ladies, that you need to try to understand is the reasons why you actually will be ending up uncovered and men don't want to cover you. They don't want to come protect you. They don't want to give you provision. They don't want to problem solve. They don't want to pro procreate nothing. First thing first is you don't accept any truth and you don't have any truth. You always carry a victimhood mentality in your relationships. You're going to be the victim no matter what. He's going to be doing you wrong no matter what. No matter how he try to appease you, no matter how he try to accommodate you, no matter what type of leadership he try to give you, no matter what type of structure he try to give you, is he always going to be wrong. You always going to be a victim. And that is simply not the case all the time. Y'all cannot convince me that 100% of the time these men is out here crazy and you're some type of angel that's not doing nothing and you just doing everything that a woman's supposed to do and you just don't know why he acting like that. Like, knock it off. That's the because they really act like they don't know what's going on. They really have tunnel vision and only see what they see. They don't see the outside world selfishness. They don't see anybody else trying to tell them the truth about themselves. A relationship can be easy going. Nine times out of 10, if the woman is a woman, a lot of the relationship problems come from women. A lot of divorces, why you think are filed by women. First thing, y'all need to figure out how to knock it off. Cause don't nobody got time for that little fake victimhood mentality where he's completely wrong all the time. And he gotta be completely, absolutely 100% perfect in every way that you can imagine before you give one inch to this relationship. So the woman be wanting the man to be so perfect, but she's not perfect herself. She got a million and one things that she has to work on, but she wants him to work on everything before she can even give any type of effort. Before she can give any type of effort in that relationship. That's not fair. And then she left wondering, what did I do wrong? Why he leave me? Why he cheat on me? What were you doing in that relationship to satisfy that man? Mentally, not just physically. What were you doing to stimulate his mind so much to make him think, you know what? This woman actually may be onto something. She may be right. Then he'll sit back and we, he won't have a problem with sitting there having a conversation with you. He won't have a problem with if you have some feelings that you want to let him know or you have some things that you want to get off your chest. He won't have a problem with sitting down with you because you're civilized, because you're calm and humble, because you know how to talk to a man, because you understand your place as a woman. You know how to take a step back and self-evaluate before you come yeah, 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 at him. A man don't want no nag. They don't want to nag. They don't want to nag in women. The first thing they'll do, I mean, 
men usually are able to sit and try to work things out with a woman but some men they don't have no patience for a woman that first time she showed him red flags whoop i'm out of here <laughs> you know women just like to play victim black women especially they like to play victim in a relationship they do and i don't think that's okay i disagree with the playing victim and you should not be playing victim because in reality he's the victim black women can sometimes be the monster in the relationship and sometimes they realize it and sometimes they're okay with that and that's not cool sometimes women really think that the world should revolve around what they want and what they say that's not how that goes so i'm gonna stop that video right there you guys if you want to continue watching the video and hear what else she has to say i'll leave the link for the video down below but in the meantime go ahead and like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that bell next to it so you can be notified when i upload new videos don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below and with that being said i will see you guys in the next video bye